Do you have any long Google Slides? Like it has a lot of parts to it. Maybe you are putting together a journal and you have different sections for the students, but you just want to break it up into smaller pieces. Like just do this little piece and then do this little piece later. Or perhaps you've got a whole bunch of questions and you want to break it out into some questions for different groups. So this group would get these questions and this group would get these questions and this other group would get these other questions all coming from a Google form. So the way that I'm going to handle that is I'm going to go to alicekeeler.com slash cut cut up slides. We're going to cut up the slides. We're not going to really cut up the slides. Your slide deck will remain intact. For each group that you want to create, a new Google Slides will be created and the slides from your original presentation will be copied into the subsets. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy. But you need to give the code a little time to load and you'll be able to find it under the add-ons menu with cut up slides and you're going to authorize the add-on. Once the add-on is authorized, you're going to want to paste here in cell C3 what is the link to your longer Google Slides. So I have this slides in my Google Drive that's 42 slides long. So let's see how I can divide this up. So I'm just going to copy that link up at the top. I'm going to copy the link up at the top and I'm going to paste it here on the spreadsheet under C3. Now you're going to figure out how many groups do you want. You can do as many as you want and then you can rename them if you want to. Start of presentation, day two continued, day three of workshop, last days. And so I'm going to pretend that I'm going to be giving this presentation over multiple days and I want to divide this up into smaller chunks. So, okay, so I have, how many slides do I have? I have 42. So for the start, I'm going to have one, have slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five, slide six, slide seven, slide eight. Now, mind you that you need to have one single number in each of the cells. This just makes it easy because that way you don't have to cut it up as like one through eight, but rather you could do one, seven, and ten or however you want to do it. All right, so I'm going to pick up and on the next day, well, I still want to have the start of my presentation slides. In fact, my last slide was 42, so I'm going to put that on to this one. So I'm going to pick up with 9, 10, 11, and maybe that's as far as I think I will get on day two. And I'll end it also with slide 42. Now day three, I want my title slide on there. And then I'm going to go 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oops, 20, and then end it with the last slide, my thank you slide, slide 42. And again, start with 1, 21, 22, 23, 20, whoops, 23. I'll make this a little faster. I'm going to highlight the 22 and the 23, and I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. Now, just because you get to column M, that doesn't mean that's as many slides as you can put into one presentation. So go ahead and go to the right, and you can just insert, insert some more columns to the right so that you can keep going. And I'll just say 42, just for the sake here, okay? So once I've decided I want four slide decks, I have renamed what I want the slide decks to be called, and then I've decided which slides are gonna be copied. Remember, you're copying them from the original into new slides. So it's another way to just remix them again. If you have like just a bunch of math questions and you wanna divide them up with students, you can decide however you wanna, distribute them out, and then go back to the add-ons menu. Now you remember you already authorized, so you want to do that first, and then just choose cut up slides. Okay, let's wait for it. It's thinking about it. Let's look at the magic happening here. You can see it's now opening up a new slides. Here's the start of my presentation. I do add the date that it was created on there. It is creating a list of the slides that it creates. And it is going to show me here in a minute when it adds those slides. So be patient. Uh, here we go. 
it's not there yet. These are highlighted in green, indicating that it is pushing the slides into the different presentations, and you'll notice that my presentations are opening. I had four groups for slides. Just wait for it, it's coming. This one's gonna take a while. They're all just gonna appear all at once, okay? So we see this, it has now indicated to me with the green that it has pushed those slides. So let's take a look at the presentation. And you can see here that this has 10 slides where I have my last slide and my first slide all in there. Day two, again, starts with that same starter slide, has the next set of slides. And day three is open here. And you can see again, I've got that first starter slide. I've got a whole bunch of slides ending in my thank you slide. And then back to my last day, my fourth one, I got all my slides in there with my final slide. So again, you can add extra columns if you need them, do as many as you want. You can create as many slides as you want. It is looking to see if you have a number here just to the right. So this is how it didn't make a slide five because I didn't have a number there to create the five. And so that's how you can cut up your slides really easily and make subsets of all your Google Slides from OneSlide.com.